Friday on midday at 12:30. It is National Hot Chocolate Day. It's a good day for that. We have Chocolate Holler Coffee Bar here to help us celebrate. Plus, the Girl Scouts of Kentucky's Wilderness Road are here to tell us all about their new cookies, where you can purchase them. Oh yes, that is starting today. They are in. This is Midday Kentucky. Hey. Afternoon, happy Friday! Happy, happy Friday! Happy Friday! It's a it's a <laughs> wet, icky one out it there. It's gross outside, but it's fine. It's but Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Amber Freeman. And I'm Monica Shear. Thank you for joining us. It's um it's one of those sleep days. I think it definitely is a sleep day. I got up this morning. You know, kids. I'm, I've told you before they wake me up, but um, this morning was another one of those. They just came and piled on me this morning, and it was. I don't know how you get out of bed when I didn't happens. want to, and then I was like, well, I can go back to bed in a minute, you know, but I didn't, obviously, end up going back to bed. But We were talking about this. I mean, it hasn't been the prettiest week at all to begin with. No. But it kind of wasn't that rainy until the weekend comes. And then the weekend, it's like, let's just yeah. storm. Let's just be gross. It's not let's just be gross. Yeah. It's fine. But there's a lot of things happening this weekend. And Sunday, according to our meteorologist, Justin Roth, it's supposed to be sunny. It's supposed to be nice. Yeah. So I'll be ready for some sunshine. Well, we're going to talk about two things. It's Groundhog Day. Any oh, it predictions? Is Groundhog Day. Uh, I mean, this winter has been crazy. So he's probably going to say it's going to last forever. Because you think? yes, because it's been nuts already. I can speak this winter. I don't like it. I like seasons when they are supposed to happen. I want summer and summer, fall and fall, winter and winter, miracle of all miracles, and spring and spring. I'm okay with this. We haven't. I knock on wood. As soon as I say, oh, don't. Don't, that you just jinxed it. Lots of it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm okay with this one. So do you, like, make a prediction. Mm. Uh, is that Groundhog going to see its shadow or not? I forget which is which. If it sees its shadow, I believe there is going to be six weeks more in winter. I, I believe. Don't then, quote. then he'll see it then. I think there's so going to be. Because we haven't had any. So I'm going to go well. the opposite That's just because I want. That's the fine. other thing is there is a big game mm. Sunday in mm -hmm. case you haven't started your planning yet. Um, just a little heads up. Super Bowl Sunday, we talked about it earlier this week, is the second biggest eating day. I believe behind it. Behind Thanksgiving, as far as calories consumed. I believe it. I think a lot of that also includes beverages. Yep, for sure. <laughs> just, just a little guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Monday after is the number one day that most people call in sick. Shocking. Really? Yes. Huh. I so, didn't think about that, but so I guess So if you it's think true. you're going to call in Monday morning, we have your number. The jig is up. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's understandable because this I never understand why, and I'm sure there's some reason, again, um, that Super Bowl Sunday is on a Sunday. <laughs> well, obviously it's Super Bowl Mur Sunday. Mur but Mur why <laughs> is it on a Sunday? It's just like know. national championships for college or Monday nights. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. It needs to be like Friday or Saturday and just be done with it, and then you don't have all these people calling in every five seconds. Right, but. because, okay, if you've ever gone to like a Super Bowl celebration, mm -hmm. it's an entire like week and a half full of parties. If you're part of that whole deal, all kinds of events, and then by the time the game happens, Yep. You don't want to go to the game because it's really, really, yep. you're tired. Yeah, done. But a lot of people go to the game and a lot of people watch Super Bowl just for the commercials and the halftime performances. I think that's where I'm at. All right. Well, we're going to uh, talk about this mm. one coming mm. up because mm. we are preparing this year. It's back in Miami. There's supposed to be an iconic performance from Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. I love it. So uh, are you fans of both? Um, yes. I mean, Shakira for me is like kind of college days, I guess, like I think of a lot of little hips don't lie action uh, with her and, and J-Lo, because we're besties. So I saw She's, somewhere the that the, the two of them on like together is mm. a little much, that they don't know how that's going to, they're both kind of divaish. It's going to be a lot of booty. Can I tell everybody to go to Cody Adams, our morning anchor's <laughs> uh, Instagram account, because I woke up this morning, no. he did Shakira, he did a nice little re rendition of her, and he did some hip action movement. <laughs> so, all right. Do you have any past Super Bowl performances that were your absolute favorite? <gasps> absolute favorite? I don't know. Minus the Britney Spears, I like some NSYNC. Okay. Well, the number one. Does that make me like sad? No, not at all. Okay. Good. The number one though that is gone down in history, and it's. I'm not even kidding with this. I'm, I, I hate mm. even talking about it. my number one regret in life. Oh Lord. Is missing this one. Prince was in Miami in 2007. Ah, uh, forget about it. Your girl Amber decided she didn't want to go to the game because she was tired <laughs> while living down there. Nice um, one. Yeah, love Prince. 
It was like his most iconic performance that night. It rained, mm. purple rain. Mm. It was this unbelievable thing. Mm -hmm. Still to this day, it kills me. Yeah, for uh, that's that's when you're young. You're just like, oh, there'll be more. And then obviously we lost him. Right, right. Um, number two, the one people talk about, Lady Gaga. I think she was there, wasn't she, with with Prince? Um, Lady not. Gaga was a good win. I, for I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. She was Beyonce. Good. Yep, Beyonce. Janet Jackson. How can we forget that one? Yeah, that Do you was... think it was planned? Uh, yes. Okay. Katy Perry. Remember her? Beyonce. She is fierce. Just wanted to see that. You know. Michael Jackson performed. Here goals for me. Paul McCartney has been at the Super Bowl. Uh, Paul McCartney. Madonna. Yeah. There's your Britney Spears. See? NSYNC, Aerosmith, and That's Mary J. Blige. They That's were all there. It was all there. That That's yep. right, right, right. You too. There's mm -hmm. all kinds of ones. Mm -hmm. Right on uh, social media and tell us who you want to see next year. I love NSYNC. Oh, oh, like, oh, I'm sorry. Still to oh, this we're getting. Day. Oh, what's happening? Yep. Are we gonna go there? No. no. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let us know if you are going to watch the Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show, the game. Of course, we have to talk about the game. It's the uh, mm -hmm. Chiefs and the 49ers. Yep. Big iconic game. Yep. Big place to have it. Miami. Fun yeah. stuff. Let's book a flight. I'm down. All Let's right. go. <laughs> well, coming up, we are going to talk Girl Scout cookies. We might not want to yet because we need to go to the grocery store tonight and pick those up Girl first. Scout we'll be right back. Cookies.